I just walk into? Whoa, wait, can I like chase her down? Dude, Kate, what the hell? What the heck was that all about? What do you want from me? I want to know what's going on! I did... Well, shit. Let's go talk to Mr. Jefferson. What the heck was that all about? Mr. Jefferson? What happened? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh yes, I have I an do. actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Yes. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding maybe. back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel, too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That wasn't really it private. Did Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't Yes, it is. Me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Hi. Totally not eavesdropping on you. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do that. Wow. It's not a good conversation. I know. That makes sense. Huh? Mm -mm. Seriously, I have to hang up. Now, let's talk about this later. We'll talk later, okay? I have to go. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hmm. Okay, so now it's just, I think, in a loop. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Boom. 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 Dana, you are out of control. Turn left. I'm kind of doing like something now, right. Max. You look like ass. Well, yeah, modeling. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he's drawing. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Yeah, this actually is kind of good. Now, it, it is a bit cartoony, and it's obviously digital work. Even though he's, on, you know, drawing with the pencil. But it's obviously digital. I don't know. I mean, I could do this. I can do, dude, I can do realistic dragons. I can't, I can't do freaking people. He's got the anatomy on this leg a little. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna have a What's whole anatomy up, spiel. Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Ha ha ha. Hey, Alyssa, can I finally speak to you? Ooh, I can take a photo.
Resolution, revolution. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Fair enough. I will not argue with that. You think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. <laughs> no time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Hi. Hi. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Uh huh. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. God, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Thank you. I'm gonna punch him in the dick. Oh, I'm gonna punch him in the dick so hard. Oh, okay. I've had my moment. I'm gonna sit down now. Poor Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos? What? Of now this is so wrong and weird. Uh huh. Damn. What do you want to keep staring, Dick? Or something? Oh, hey, it's Warren. What up, man? Hey, man. Hey, Warren. What up? I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has yeah. a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to... No smartphones in class, Max. Yeah. Sorry. The judge. Sorry. Usually, people need something <laughs> to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end... Agreed. We can only blame ourselves for participating. I can agree to that. Speaking of participation... There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who mm. I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about Kiro's the Kiro. between light and dark. The shadow Oh, my favorite. Such visual power. It's basically No, I'm serious. I love transitions between light and dark. Precisely because of their contrasts. Although mm -hmm. we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class what? Like ever again. Listen. What? Everybody remain seated. Oh, that's not good. Dismissed. Oh god, no, please don't. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. He's not having a good day. Is this for real? What's going on? Dude, is she gonna fall? Is she gonna jump? Is that what's going on? Oh, please tell me no. No, 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 no. Please don't tell me this is not what she's doing. Oh shit, no. She can't die. She can't. No, 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 no. Not again. Not now. No. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Damn, I'm hurting myself way too bad over this. Keep going, Max. You can do it. Go up there. 
Join her. That would change your mind in some way. I know it. Yeah, you fuck. You're a fucker. You're partly to blame for this. Yes. to do this mm. by myself? Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? I've been bullied too, Kate. And even when I got picked on, I stood up for myself. I know you only stand up for yourself. That's why you let David get in my face, like everybody here. That's not true. Mm. People want to help you. Yes, they want to help kill me. And they can get their wish. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. <sighs> Kate, there are billions of videos out there. Yours will fade away like white noise. Oh, God, please, Max. You haven't seen the looks I get. Or the laugh. I understand, truly. I get bullied, too. But this is a blip. Yep, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. No! No! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. 
I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, Fuck you. as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to Fuck be with you. my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. 
Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week.
There we go. Let's see what we did. So it seems like I did what pretty much everybody da did. Everybody else did. The vast majority would have told Kate to wait for more proof rather than tell the police. Um, vast majority would answer Kate's call. Um, it's about 50-50 on whether you would shoot Frank or not. Oh my god, it is an option to save her life. Well, shit. God, how I wish I could go back. I had the chance to go back and save her. I'm so tempted just to replay this entire episode and do everything all over again just so I could save her life. Just go back to that specific part. I might do that, guys. I might just because of the fact that I, all my entire intentions were to save her. And I almost did until that last part, which I think I should have said something different. So I will more than likely go back and do that. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Do you guys want me to go back? Because I want to. And I don't want you guys to say, no, do what you want to do. Because I know that's what you guys will say. I really want your genu genuine opinion. Because I want to save her. I really want to. And that would be another two, three hours of me replaying this entire game. Or just doing that section, which might not be as bad. So, But we'll see what you guys want. Okay. Most people water the plant. That's good. Help Alyssa? I didn't know that was an option. Huh. Um. Interesting. Wrote a message. Okay, so I guess you could do that. Tampered with the rail tracks. I didn't tamper with them, no. I didn't help Warren? I thought I did. I didn't understand what else I could do. Told on David to Mr. Jefferson. Gained entry to the Vortex Club party. I didn't know you could help Alyssa. I didn't realize you could do that. See, this is what I was saying with this game is so freaking detailed and they don't give you everything. You have to look and find them, which is why I'm sorry if this seemed like it was very long and tedious at some points. But that's what you have to do in this game. That's what you gotta do. It's just what you have to do. God damn, I wanna save Kate so bad. Okay. Uh, there you go. What? Chaos theory. Holy crap! It's coming in May? Oh man, that's two months from now. I don't think I can wait that long. Wow. That... That whole section just, oh my god, I have chills going throughout my entire freaking body. It caught me off guard. I almost forgot about that. Wow. Life is strange, guys. Episode 2, out of time. I'm gonna go save Kate. I will keep recording, and if it's worth putting up, you will see it in the next few minutes or seconds. But otherwise, I will say this now. Thank you all so much for watching and for being with me on this entire amazing adventure. This is really good series. It is really, really good. There's more to come, obviously. And I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm extremely excited. I'm gonna go save Kate now. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I most certainly did. And until next time, bye!